Hi, it's a lipstick out. Thanks so much for watching today. I wanted to go through and rank all of the blushes I purchased this year. Okay, it's July and I've purchased 22 blushes. That's a lot. I feel like 2023 has become the year of blush. Uh, there are other years where I fear it was very much, you know, like graphic liner or eyeshadow or something. And this year I feel like everybody is coming out with blush everybody everybody and in multiple different formulas and they're just gorgeous now some of these are products that are new to me meaning that they had been out there for a while and I just finally dabbled my little toe in whatever brand um, I was interested in and some of them are kind of like actual new products so I'm just gonna start down with um, the one that kind of has me the least excited and I think it's not because it's not a good product I just wrong color. I feel like there's a lot of times that in here I ended up with colors that are either too bold, too pigmented, or they're just not something I reach for on the daily. This is it. This is the Pure Nude Baked Blush. I have the shade Berry Cheeks, and it's a really cool blush. Now, normally I'd be like, ooh, cool blush, but it almost reads on my skin. It can sometimes read like a little bit like too cool and too berry. When I reach for this, it never looks right. But I feel like this is a really great formula. This reminds me of a lot of other beautiful baked but highlighty blushes like the Heaven's Glow from M. I feel like that's what this is trying to do at an affordable price, but I felt like a lot of the shades were just very similar, like the kind of neutral warm shades were all very similar. Um, and I wanted something that was different and I reached for this and I just realized this is not the shade for me. The next blush I picked up this year I have been wanting to love this. I know some people are going to be like typing furiously. How dare you speak poorly of this blush? I just haven't figured it out. I have tried multiple ways and this is just too emollient to work well without picking up whatever I have down already. And it's this. These are the color serum drops from M. This is the reformulated and the repackaged. And this one here is in the shade Soft Amethyst. I lo love this shade. Uh, see? Oh, there we go. I still have a problem with the dropper. This is the sort of cool, see how this one looks a little pinky purple? This is the sort of cool shade I could wear because it has a little bit of brown to it. And when you kind of blend it out, I mean, I'm not saying that it's brown, but it has a little bit of um, like an earthiness. So on a day when I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, like concealer and a tinted lip balm, I will pull this out. I just don't reach for it on a day like today, even if I'm using cream and liquid blushes, because it is just too hydrating. And whatever concealer I have on here to cover up this hyperpigmentation spot, a little bit of melasma here, it just breaks it all up and it's like, why bother putting anything down underneath it? This is great for me on a little to no makeup day, but I love the color. I love the way it makes my cheeks glow, but I haven't figured it out. Now, if you've cracked the code on how to apply these to use them over like a liquid foundation or a cream foundation, what do you do? Because I wanna love this so, so much. I just can't get it to work for me. So number 20 is one that I picked up during the Spring Sephora sale and I don't want you to think that I think it's a bad product. I actually like it. I just feel like out of everything else, and with 22 blushes, there's been a lot. A lot of other ones kind of just are higher up on the list of I'm always thinking about them. And this is a great blush. This is one that I pull in to kind of help me adjust if I need something a little bit different, if it's not quite there. Just like with my lips, I will cocktail a shade. With my cheeks, I will also cocktail a shade. And it's this. This is the Laura Mercier Color Blush Infusion in the shade Chai, which is a beautiful, kind of warm, neutral. So here it is. And for someone like me who is fair, this is beautiful. So if I need to like tone down something that's a little much, I can put a little bit of this over the top. If I need to bring something from being a little too cool, I can put a little bit of this over the top. There is that moment where I put some blush, I'm like, I need just a little bit more, but if I dip into that more pigmented blush, it's gonna take me, right over the edge, I'll reach for this. This is a good blush, but I, I feel like I, I use it more to adjust things and I don't really think of it as its own, but it's it's super pretty. And maybe, maybe I should quit going for such vibrant cheeks and just 
really lean into this for a month and use it regularly and see if I fall in love with it. All right, here's one I completely forgot about. It came in a set. Um, I got it at the end of December, and so I didn't really start using it until January, but it's this. This is the Cheeky Stamp from Kaja, and I mean, come on, how cute is it? This is the applicator. It's basically just a cushion blush. This is the shade number two, um, Saucy. Like a little heart, it's cute. The truth is, I forgot about this. Completely forgot about it. Um, although the packaging is cute, I definitely prefer just to like stick my finger in here and you know tap it on where I want it. This is what it looks like. It's very subtle. You can build it up a little bit more, but I, I really feel like this is more like kid makeup for the, the stamp aspect of it. I don't feel that way with all of Kaja's things, but this kind of leans into that a little bit more for me. And I feel like it doesn't feel, even though the formulation is good, the color is really pretty, especially for someone like me with fair skin. I just feel like, first of all, it's big and bulky. And, you know, I could really do without this top portion. If they had, you know, removed all of this, look how deep it is to house this little stamp part. Like, just give me like a little teeny tiny puff on the inside, like with a cushion foundation in here to boop, boop, boop. That would be perfect. And I wouldn't need like all of this you know, a thin little lid and a little cushion in there, and we're great. I feel like the product is good, but I keep it in a separate place from all the rest of my blushes because it won't fit in there because it's so herkin' huge. But I do like the formula. It is lovely. This next blush I actually really love, and I, I got a shade that was not well-suited to my skin tone, but I got a shade that made me happy. And I am wearing it today, but I, I really had to play with it and tone it down and use very, very little because it's a lot. It's the Yummy Skin blushes from Danessa Myricks. This is the shade Golden Hour. Okay, so this makes me so happy, but I mean, it's a lot. And that this is what happens. So I need like the smallest amount, the, the smallest amount. And even when I start to put it on lightly and blend it in, this is definitely meant for someone with deeper skin. But this, co this color just brings me joy. So I am wearing it today, but oh, so softly. And it's buff, buff, buffed out with another one. Another one of these, actually. Um, but I like this formula. I like how easy it is to use. This one isn't easy to use because it's so pigmented and it's so not my shade. But the formula, I love. All right, here's another one that is a, uh, me on the struggle bus. Like, aspirational shades that shade makes me happy this is from beauty pie this is the shade red light i mean look at this it is beautiful but this is their um super cheek <laughs> i mean these colors are are fantastic super cheek um but it's so pretty it's so pretty but like look even even here it's a lot it's a lot i like this most when i wear it like this on my lips but I have to be so careful. This, I feel like the fact that it was red pulled me in and I love red. Red is literally my favorite color. I think that's what pulled me in. And although the formulation is fantastic, I love the formulation of the Super Cheeks Cream Blushes from Beauty Pie, I should not have picked up red light. Red light is definitely meant for someone with deeper skin. Like even, I'll try and use the smallest amount and I still look like a, a kid on the Campbell's soup can. <laughs> Do you remember that? Uh, my mom used to have a set of mugs, like four mugs, um, and they had like the Campbell's soup kids on them and they just had the biggest, rosiest cheeks. And that's what I feel like when I wear this, even when I tone it down, it's still a lot of look, which isn't great for my fair skin. All right, here's one that came in my Beautylish Lucky Bag and I, I need to use it more because it's actually really good. But for me, I struggle sometimes with the formulation. This is from Mob Beauty. This is their, um, I forget what it's called. I'll put the name up on the screen for you, but it's a clay-based cream product. This is the shade number M72. It, it's one of those that it can feel a little stiff at time, but once you kind of warm it up, and I find that this is one of those that I really do have to take time to warm up. But once it gets there, it's so pretty. And it's such a pretty shade. Like, like even if you were to like go in for it like a little bit heavier, if you have a richer skin tone than I do, this is this is stunning. This is really beautiful. Um, and the formula hangs tight all day. 
Like this is not fade. I really like this, but I kind of forget about it. And what I remember is, oh yeah, that one I need to work a little bit harder to blend. And I feel like that might be what's kind of keeping it down towards the end. All right, we've got a little section here kind of towards the middle that are kind of my newer blushes. These are ones that I have purchased probably in the last couple of months. So jury's still out. Here's another one from Beauty Pie. This is the Super Cheek, but this is like their summer version that has um, pearl in it. This is the shade Gleam Me Up. Look how pretty, it's more like a highlighter, but this is pretty, especially when you sheer it out. When you sheer it out, it is like really lovely. And I like this on a lighter makeup day, like a day that I'm not filming, I'm wearing kind of like just barely anything. This is pretty because it takes care of blush and highlight and like bronzer, I don't know. I know it's summertime, but a lot of times I'm like, if I'm skipping stuff, like, okay, am I bronzing only or am I wearing a glowy cheek? And this glowy cheek has been really good. Here's another one that's new. I haven't even had it for a couple of weeks. This is from Ritual Defeat. This is their Inner Glow Cream Pigment. So this is not new. This product has been around for years. Um, I had one of their Color Nectar Pigment Balms that I am head over heels for, and so I wanted to try more Ritual Defeat. I will link the video for you here where I try their new foundation, their Three Drop Serum Foundation, but I also picked up a lot of other Ritual Defeat products. This is really pretty, but look at how interesting that shade is. This shade is one of those where it's definitely like a cool, cool blush. All right, right here. It on me at times, it can pull a little gray, but this is where I bring in a little bit of a warmer blush. And I feel like what this brings is a beautiful depth. It also on days when I don't want to wear like contour or bronzer, I'll just like take it a little bit lower right in through here. And I'm not saying I kind of contour with this, but I, I'm lazily placing things like, what can I get from this? This is interesting. I don't know that this was the right color for me. It was described as a mauve. Uh, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, it's mauve, but it's kind of like a taupey mauve. And I wish that they had mentioned that. And I mean, when you look at this swatch right here, it's a lot. It's a lot, but it's super creamy. Look, I mean, <laughs> I feel like I'm wearing, like I broke into like a goth girl's makeup bag when I pulled this out. But it, it has such a creamy so blendable like where this one can be a little finicky with blending or you know i have to blend the you know living daylights out of this or the one in red light even though this one is an interesting color it it blends like heart like no effort and it you don't even have to be kind of careful how you blend and it's it's really pretty i also love the glow that it leaves on the cheeks it's kind of a dewy product but it's it's one of those that I'm still trying to decide how I feel about and how it's going to fit into my collection and when and how I'm going to use it. But it is interesting to me. I have this cream blush from Make Beauty. This is something that I had been really curious to try. Um, this is the shade Swelter. Okay, you might be thinking, again, you got a color that was too dark for you. I didn't want one of those kind of boring mid-tone peachy shades. I, I'm just going to tell you, but this, look at this. Look, this, this is beautiful. I feel like this is one of those where yes, it can be dark and like very berry, but if I use this right and I blend it out out of all the ones that are really deep and probably meant for a richer skin tone, this is the easiest one for me to blend. Um, I feel like this guy here, uh -huh, problems. This one here, uh -huh problems but I really feel like this one here is super super easy I really like it I also like that it's um, a little bit glowy it definitely brings hydration to the skin I do feel like about six or seven hours in I've lost a little bit of the color but it's really easy for me to rub my fingers over the stick and pat a little bit more on because I normally don't set my cheeks when I'm wearing cream cheek products this has been really interesting Here's one that when I tried the formula for the first time last year or year before, I think it was last year, I was like, nope, nope, this is terrible. Uh, and then, then I bought another one. I realized I didn't know how to apply this the best. This is the uh, Flush Balm from Merit. So I have the shade here in Fox. This is the shade that I wanted, but this is what you don't do. Well, what I have learned on myself not to do is not to take it straight to the face and scribble it on. Now it kind of leans itself to that, doesn't it? 
But when I do that, it goes straight through the Merit Minimalist foundation stick or any other foundation that I have down. If I'm using cream products, I have not set my cheeks. And if I just do this and start blending, I'll have like a stripe right here where the product is, where obviously it's eaten through every single little bit of foundation. And all I have is blush on bare skin. And that's not what I'm going for. But this shade in Fox is so pretty. It's a warm, it's not really, I mean, look at that. It's, it's definitely more like the, the trend that we're in right now is like a latte. This would be perfect for like a latte look. But I love how um, kind of earthy and natural this is. The formula is nice. So what I've learned is I need to take either a sponge and do this or take a synthetic brush, do this, bounce it off on the back of my hand and then place. And that's how I make sure I get this color to sit beautifully and perfectly on top of my foundation but it seems like this intuitively would be meant to just swipe it on and it always turns out poorly for me when I do that but I have figured it out I've cracked the code so now I'm reaching for this one in Fox and the one I bought last year in Cheeky and I'm really enjoying them. Towards the beginning of this year M Cosmetics was having a sale and during their sale, I found that their Masterpiece collection was on sale. I love the Masterpiece collection, and I have um, the blush in the lightest shade, and I have the eyeshadow palette in the lightest shade, but then I decided to pick up the deeper eyeshadow palette and the deeper blush. So here is Baroque. Okay, this Heaven's Glow Baked Blush Formula is probably one of my favorite, one of my most reached for, like, out of everything. But this isn't higher up because, like, this shade is really a little too deep for me. Do you see? <laughs> She's pigmented. This is meant for someone with a richer skin tone. And I can make this work if I take a really soft, fluffy brush and pick up just a little bit of it, bounce it off in the back of my hand, and then apply it. So it's not the formula. It's just I am picking always the, like, aspirational shades. You're like, oh, that shade is beautiful, but I don't think about how this beautiful shade may not work as a blush for me. I am frequently straight into clown territory. Um, I over blush regularly. I have problems with blush placement. You'd think that after 34 years of wearing makeup, no, I still make the same mistakes. I do, I do. Um, but the truth is, I feel like I bought this because I know I loved, like, the color is beautiful. And I was hoping that I could make it work with a light hand, and I can, but it definitely takes some finagling. Um, so it's a beautiful formula, beautiful shade. I'm just, uh, you can see a lot of these choices are too deep for my fair skin. All right, here's one I wasn't sure about, and I love. And it is, look, it looks like an orange blush. This is another one of those. Okay, so I had three of these. I bought a lot of these this year. This is the Super Cheek from Beauty Pie, and this is the shade Blazed Apple. So this is one of those that once you start to blend it out, you start to see a little bit more of the pink, a little bit more of the coral in here, and it brings the most beautiful, kind of like a summery flush to the skin. I love this. They blend with hardly any effort. They last all day long. You can wear them on the lips. And I wasn't sure that this shade, I mean, this is probably the shade that works best for me. And do you see the difference? This is definitely more like a neon shade, but I do like a bright orangey kind of coral blush, and it is so pretty. First time I tried this blush from Victoria Beckham, I was like, because I got the wrong eyeshadow quad to go with this, I was doing a full face to Victoria Beckham, but this blush, I love this shade. This is the shade Playground. I really like the formula. This is one that I can just swipe on the cheeks. This is not so hydrating and emollient, but it, it, it spreads. It blends. And this is another one of those that is perfect for kind of like a um, really bronzed look, but just a little bit of color. It is definitely a much warmer blush. I love the way this looks on my skin, but this is one of those that I use on a day like when I'm doing a really warm eye look and I'm wearing kind of like, almost like a bare glossy lip. I love this. This at first I was like, I don't like it. I was wearing the wrong lipstick and the wrong eyeshadow. And then when I started incorporating with other things, 10 out of 10, love. Obviously I like the last two, but I think we're now at the point, the last eight of these, are the ones that I absolutely adore. 
adore, 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 and I can't stop reaching for them. Here's one that I love. This is the Skin Mimetic Micro Suede Blush. This is the shade Celestial Rose. This really has a beautiful, neutral, kind of almost brown leaning rose shade to it. It is the easiest blush to wear. And this micro suede formula, the Skin Mimetic powders um, in the bronzer, in the blush, in the powder form, just like the regular like touch up powder from Make are exquisite. Uh, also love the packaging. Mine is all fingerprinted and gooed up. But I mean, look how pretty, look how pretty they are. I love the fact that um, the larger ones, the silver one with the gold bottom is the powder. The one that has the bright blue with the gold bottom is the bronzer. And the smaller one with this orange top is for the blush. And also like love that they are refillable packaging. So you can just get the pan and get it again. But I really love this shade. This shade I think also does what the one from Laura Mercier does, which is like, oh, I got a little too crazy. Let me pull a little bit of this in and kind of tone it down. Or I need just a little bit more color and I don't want too much more color, I'll go for this. I really have been liking it. I could see myself purchasing more of this formula because I love it so much. Now here is one, I hate that you can only get it one place, but I kind of think it's worth it. This? this is the Matte Beauty Blush Wand from Charlotte Tilbury and this is her iconic, say it with me, Pillow Talk shade. Now, I like the formula of this. I have in the past, like I have one of her contour wands, I have one of her highlight wands. I think they're just beautiful. This blends with no effort. It's These are very similar in color. This is definitely more hydrating, but this takes no effort. This is one where I can literally dot, 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 use my fingers to tap or blend it in, or a sponge or a brush, and I don't disturb any of the foundation I have down. It is so pretty, and I feel like the peach shade and the pink shade would probably work for me. The more cherry shade, whatever the bright berry shade might might be a little much for my fair skin. I think I am starting to see the trend now that don't go there. It looks fantastic, but it's probably meant for someone else. Um, I feel like those are really nice, but this shade I feel like is the perfect type of shade for me and kind of that mauve, but um, a little bit rosewood tone that I'm into right now. All right. I'm head over heels for this formula. This is the So Soft Blush Formula from M Cosmetics. This is the shade Lychee. I had been for years a huge peach blush fan, and then I was like, no more peach blush for me. It felt very like um, mid 30s, and I was like, I am not that person anymore. But this is so stunning. This is so stunning. It is just enough. I love how easily you can swipe this on. You can pick it up on a brush. You can pick it up with your fingers and tap it in. This formula is so good. I didn't think I was gonna like this. I was like, you know, I've been liking kind of orangier blushes. Let me give it a try. I love this. It's so good. So I have four of these sticks um, and Lychee is one of the new ones I've picked up this year. I love this blush. <laughs> This is the hydrating, let me read you the name. This is the Redimension Hydro Powder Blush from RMS. I know everybody was going gaga for these when these came out. Did these come out in 2021 or 22? I don't remember. And I was like, I don't need another glowy blush. I already have my favorite. And then on a whim, I picked one up. It wasn't this one, but I liked the other one so much, I had to get another. Like I have been discovering some RMS stuff this year that I have really been impressed with. And this is one of them. This is one of those shades. So this one is called Pomegranate Fizz. It's a lot of look. So this is one of those that I have to use a very gentle hand in, but it's so pretty. Now I'll tell you, I have been using um, a wipe to like wipe off the back of my hand. And when I do that too much, sometimes some parts are dry, some parts are not. So it might look a little weird or patchy on the back of my hand, but do you see the sheeny glow to this? It's so stunning. If you like an in from the cold look for your cheeks, um, or if you like that more in winter time, this is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I feel like on the days that I wear this, um, I don't really need highlight. Sometimes I wear it anyway, but I love this blush. I love this blush. It's stupid easy to apply. All right. Remember how I told you I picked up two of the Denetzer Myricks Yummy Skin Balms? This is the one I should have picked up the first time. This one's called Rose and Brunch. And oh, it is 
so stunning. I'm wearing both of these today. I started with this one and then I wanted to like tone it down a little bit. So I threw this on over the top. But what I love about this is it looks really kind of like mauve here, but it has a really pretty warmth to it. Do you see how it looks almost just a little bit, um, I don't know, I was going to say orange. It doesn't really look orange, but it doesn't look as, like it looks mauve here, but the minute you get it on the cheeks, it looks like a skin tone color, but a beaut, I mean, it's stunning. I feel like I'm, I'm not describing this really well, but this shade is everything I want. It has a little bit of warmth. It has a little bit of coolness. It does have that pink in there. And it, you know, I never wear, obviously I'm not wearing it this bright on my cheeks, but when I get it just right, oh, oh, I love it. I struggled using, where is it? The, you know, the balm powder. I'm still using this, but mostly as like primer or I'll mix a little bit of it with this guy to thin it out. Um, I think it's a really interesting product, but I feel like this Upsolite formula, this new technology that she has in this formulation that she started here and is now doing here, this is easier for me to use and understand because I get it. It's a cream blush and it's stunning. This wears all day does not fade. If you want a little more color, you can tap on a little bit more if you're going out to dinner or you're doing something fun in the evening and you feel like, okay, I had a real subtle blush look, but I need more. You can definitely do that. I love this. There's just three left. This is my top three new blushes. And here is the one that made me need the other RMS Redimension Hydro Blush. You can see this one is a little bit more used. This one here is called Maiden's Blush. This is the prettiest kind of rosy brown shade. I have been loving kind of brown lips. I have been loving kind of like a more nude blush. And this with a little bit of like shimmer to it. I mean, shimmer is like a strong word. It's definitely got a glow to it, but this is the blush that I couldn't stop reaching for. It looks really brown here, but the way the light hits it, this is, this is stunning. And this is also a lot heavier than the way I would normally wear it on the cheeks. It's definitely a little bit lighter. But I wore this nonstop this spring when I got it. I couldn't stop reaching for it. I wore it all the time. Couldn't stop. Love. Now here's one. I'm surprised it's this far up in the list because it's also on the newish side. And it's from Beauty Pie. So this is a new launch for them this year. This is their, I forget what it's called. I think it's like a vitamin powder. Let me see. The Super Cheek Vitamin Powder Blush. This shade is Current Mood. Okay, obviously you see how dirty it is around the outside. I love this blush. I wear it a lot. This is such a pretty color. It has a little bit of pink. It's not too pink. It's just enough. I feel like the component here is almost identical to the one from Make Beauty. It is also refillable. I love that Beauty Pie is leaning into the um, refillable compacts. They have a bronzer like this. They have their lipsticks that are like this. They're unlipsticks as well as their Wonder Gloss Luxe Shine lipsticks. I love refillable packaging. More of that, especially when it's made so well. So what's great about this is that it is just magnetic. There is is no like little clasp that you have to like dig your nail in and pull it open. These are just easy. I just feel like I can just boop, boop. And I don't, I don't know. I don't deal with arthritis. Um, my mom does. And maybe when she's here next, I should ask her if she finds this to be easy to open. I just kind of feel like, you know, fingers here, thumb here, and it just opens up. But I love the packaging for this, but the shades. I feel like there are some other shades that I would like to have, but I'm not sure that I need at this moment. But this shade in current mood, is really pretty. I feel like it's very similar to a lot of the other ones like this one from Charlotte Tilbury and this one here from, you know, I feel like I've got a lot in the one from Make. They're very similar in tone. They're kind of like that um, kind of mauve a little bit of brown earthiness to them. Really easy to wear and super pretty. All right, so my number one blush out of all of my purchases is probably the one that I have worn the most and it's this. This is another one of the So Soft blushes from M, and it's the shade. It's perfect. It's a little brown. It's a little mauve. This is the shade Demure, and it is the perfect fair person's blush. So, I mean, it can, it can be really built up, but this blends with no, no effort. I love, I love, 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 and this is also one that I can take straight to the cheeks and not worry about it being uh, breaking up or catching weird or, or blending strange. It always blends beautifully. Love this. Love this. I definitely see that I have a type right now. My type is like 
the pillow talk type or this demure type or you know this shade here in celestial rose i definitely see that i'm in a season of that right now but i feel like i'm starting to break out because a lot of the other purchases and maybe they've been aspirational purchases but like this one from Vanessa myricks or this one from um beauty pie or this one here in swelter from make beauty i feel like i'm definitely looking for more interesting cheek options and if we're talking interesting this one here in Desire from Ritual Defeat certainly is. But I would love to know, have you been purchasing a lot of blush? Or have you been reaching for a lot of blush? What sorts of blush are you liking? Cream, powder, liquid, what is your favorite right now? And do you have like a favorite color or type of color that you've been reaching for a lot? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have an incredible day and I'll see you again soon.